Hi everybody. Hi everyone. Welcome to Twin Set and Pearls Knitting Podcast, episode 15. And today it's a bit grey and dingy in England. We've got lots of lights on. on. We're hoping it's going to show off our myriad of acquisitions <laughs> yeah. well. So if you we're going to talk about other things first, but we will get on to acquisitions. But um, we have got quite a lot because... Um, You've been on a trip. I've been on a trip. And you've been feeling a bit sorry for yourself for not being on a trip. <laughs> so I've been buying a few things. Yeah. So we'll get to that at the end so that if you don't want to watch, you can skip all that. But we'll just start by... going a bit, a bit of like, oh, well, let's course. introduce yourself. I'm Jo. <laughs> We always do this. Yeah. I'm Jo. And I'm Rachel. And we're twins who designed together as Twin Set and Pearl. And we want to say a big welcome to any new viewers. Yeah. And a big welcome to anybody who's come back. Yeah, thank you for watching. And um, should we... So we've changed locations in Rachel's house because um, we were sat... We normally sit behind a window... And so last did. time the lighting wasn't very great, and somebody suggested that it was because we were behind, we had a window behind and us. So we're now on my sofa. So we're seeing if with this a is a bit slip extravaganza behind, which behind. is slipping. <laughs> the slip extravaganza is slipping. Um, so anyway, we're sitting in the living room with a few more lights on, but no window behind us. So, so we're, we're hoping, hoping it's going to be better. And I'm hoping Joe's foot isn't going to kick the table. Sorry. And trying very hard not yes. to kick the table. So. Just wanted to do, I suppose people call it a little bit housekeeping at the beginning of the podcast and just talk about our knit along that's going along, going along, that's happening. Um, it's the gift along, so it's TNP, is it TNP or TP? TP gift, gift cow. cow. And we've Hashtag had Hashtag TP gift cow. cow. And there's also a thread in our Ravelry group for finished objects, finished and, objects chat. and the chat. Yeah. yeah. So we also pick a winner every month. From the um, what you're knitting from Twin Set and by Twin Set and Pearl. So anything you're knitting for the gift along can also go in that thread, and you could win a prize, which is a pattern of your choice from Ravelry. And we do have a winner for September, who is Sally. She's Keeny Sal on Ravelry, Ravelry, and we will be messaging you to let you know that you've won. So we'll reply. Um, I'll message you on it on Ravelry. Yeah. And you can pick any pattern from Ravelry. It doesn't have to be one of ours. No. If it's one of ours, that's fine. But yeah. any pattern, and we will gift that to you yeah. as the winner. So that's um, that happens every month. And then um, I did mean to get the prize ready to show today, but it's been a bit lapse on that. We have a project bag and some yarn and some bits and things. That's the grand, like the main. Well, there's only one prize, and then. Well, there are other prizes, but they're just patterns from Ravelry, which we will purchase for you, you know, like gift you. So um, I was going to pick those randomly as we went along through each month, but... Um, we'll go back and pick a couple. Yeah, Joe's been on holiday and I've been um, having treatment, so things have been, you know, not the easiest. Um, keep knitting, that's what we're doing. <laughs> so... Um, will get sorted eventually and the cal doesn't finish until the end of the year so by the end of the year we will have shown you the main prize yeah but don't forget to put your fo's in yeah in the, the fo thread. in the fo thread or if you're not on ravelry use, use the, the hashtag, hashtag with their on instagram and show show us what you're knitting and um yeah and we don't our FOs. fo's are good but the we don't we don't we just want people to join in and there's a discount code, yeah, which is GIF twenty five, is it? Yeah, for twenty five percent off all of our patterns, and I will add in the new ones that I've just added one today. So I'll, I will add in the new ones, but it has got a discount at the moment anyway. Um, and then, um, during October, we're donating all of our pattern sales to a chari local charity to me. Um, which is Every Child Needs Christmas. And every year my work um, team um, donate to this charity. So you can either buy a present for a child or you can donate some money. 
I usually donate some money because I don't really know what kids yeah. like these days. And they often have some age groups that they struck people don't buy for and they and then, so they, they, then need, they can they go need, and buy yeah, they need yeah. donations so that they can go and buy oh, that's them. really good so one of my friends amy is very involved in it and she goes and does a big shop with the money from look from lloyd's bank which i do where my where i work for my team um and um so yeah so she's going to be we're probably going to be giving the money to her for yeah. to, to to um to go and buy some presents yeah, yeah. um and we haven't really p pushed it a lot on we've mentioned it obviously on instagram haven't really pushed a lot but we have already raised 100 pounds so that's quite good yeah. so obviously our patterns that people buy that are already for charity that money will still be going to those charities yeah, not the and then it will be any any other ones any other um patterns that get sold during october yeah. So um, we were just chatting about what could we do to help um, people who might be um, struggling with the cost of living and, and all of that. And mm. I think for some families, they they don't get Christmas presents anyway, but there are even more families this mm. year that perhaps can't afford Christmas presents for their children. So we just wanted to do our little bit that we can. Yeah. And it's something that we already support. I, I already support, so I thought yeah. that was, it was a nice to give them a bit of a boost. Yeah. Because they may also have people this year who aren't can't afford to donate. Yeah. So they could be, they could really be struggling. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's just a little bit that we can do. Yeah. So. Yeah, so any help you can, and you can buy the, you can buy the patterns with the, with the bonus 20 from the podcast discount and the others but if you wanted to donate a little bit more this month because or we're donating you know then don't use the cut don't use the code and pay full price for the pattern but obviously any 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 um a little bit towards yeah, it is great sorry my words are... it's all right she's here um, to help me so do i do you want me to talk about my trip now or shall we? I think we should talk about the trip with that when we do acquisitions. Oh, right, yeah, cool. That's a good plan. A, that's mainly what. Oh, I've left my mug in the other room. Oh, well, you need to go and get that. Yeah, okay, we'll do that in a sec. Let's talk about what we're wearing. Well, you're t wearing. I'm wearing the Loretta Road cowl, for the, which is which the one. Which is free, a free pattern. And it was launched for our. to, to kick off the gift along. Um, it's just a little net warmer. Um, and it, this one is knit out of 25 grams of brushed su Surrey alpaca Gorgeous. from Drops. And there's an alpaca sale, sale on at the minute on, in, for Drops. Um, so it's about £1.50 a ball. So you could knit a little gift for somebody for, for yeah. just you know, under under £2. Um, the, they use 50 grams of a, foot, of a fingering weight or 25 grams of a Surrey alpaca. Um, yeah, so that's what I'm wearing. And I'm wearing, well, puh, puh, puh. I'm wearing Disco Bunny, which is a shawl that Joe designed especially for me for my birthday last year and knitted it in secret and I didn't even know. <laughs> um, it's a, I've tied it underneath here to keep it on, but it's a triangle. It's a asymmetric triangle, isn't it? Yeah, you start at the top tip at the and, tip go and then you just increase. And it's got and... um, sparkles. The, that's the disco bit. <laughs> yeah, that's the um, King Cole Cosmos. Cosmo, whatever. And I'm wearing my Smarged pullover. Which also has, which also has sparkles in it. Can't, only very, 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 very... What's the word? Subtle. Subtle, yeah. But this is knitted out of um, Lang Alpaca Super Light, which is... It's got um, wool in it. It's got wool and silk and alpaca. It's lovely and it's so warm. I've been, I've been, I've been, I've worn it out to to, to Slimming World this morning. I was boiling hot in the room. <laughs> I thought I was going to be okay, but no, it's a lovely. And I want to knit this sweater again in four ply, which is what it's supposed to be knitted in. But I've we've talked about it on the podcast. It was a whip for quite a long time, and you can't really see it. Should I hold up my? It's got this lovely feather and fan um, and 
Um, so you're wearing lots of feathering. Well, that's kind of yeah, a modified. This is like a peacock. Yeah. Feathering fur. I might have to take this off. I'm getting a bit old in here. But um, so I knitted it. I got my gauge and knitted it as a size. Oh, I can show you the shawl now. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the triangle shape that you knit. You start at this end and go along. And I want to knit a navy blue one, of course, because it's it's gorgeous. You can't get a navy blue sky. Though. The sky on sale as well. That's got alpaca in. If it's got alpaca in, I think it's on sale. Okay, cool. But they don't do a navy blue. So yeah, I have to find an alternative. But I've got some of this left, and I'm trying to decide what to make with it. But how much? Like four balls. Might just make a shawl. Yeah. yeah. Might make a. I don't, want, they, I don't really want another jumper, do I? I don't think so. But anyway, so now you can see the neckline and everything. It's lovely. And I would definitely recommend this pattern. Cool. So next we're moving on to FOs. Mine are going to be very quick to talk about because I haven't got them here. Do you want to talk about them then first? Yeah. Go on then. So I, <laughs> part of my trip, I was visiting some friends and I made some gifts. So I made... It's a shame you can't go in the FO thread <laughs> for the gift yeah. along. <laughs> so I made two Loretta Rhodes and one Monsoon Season, which is my cow pattern that's currently being test knit. Um, the L Loretta Rhodes, I actually knit, knit them exactly as pattern, but with fingering and Surrey held double. So they were very... Squishy Different needle. and a four millimeter oh. needle. Um, and I just knit them from very, it was a very cheap yarn. It was drops and drops, I think, drops flora and drops, um, so brush Surrey alpaca, um, a pink, pale pink one and a brighter pink one. Was it the flora that I gave you? Yeah, the friend of, yeah, last time, yeah, and then the. I'm gonna, Rachel will put some pictures in. I'm going to give her some pictures. I've, I took some pictures of me wearing them before I gifted right. them. So we'll pop. So you didn't take any pictures in. of them wearing them? No. Okay. Yeah, we'll, I'll, um, I'll try and put some pictures and in. And then the monsoon season, I've shown on the podcast. Oh, you I, were knitting I it? I was knitting it already. And it was knit with Julie Aslin um, merino silk in a rust, rusty red colour. And then I added in a red surrey and an orange mohair just for mm. the um, the uh, yarn overs and pearl bumps section. Um, and it's, I absolutely love it. Um, I'm tempted to add that version to the pattern, but it might be a, an edit because it might take a while. Um, so, yeah, so those were my... But the, the two cowls, I, I literally knit them in a week. I was... Um, you know, they're so quick, little things to knit. So now we can get onto Rachel's massive pile of <laughs> FOs, and I'm just quickly going to go and get my mug. Cool. So, my first FO is my ranunculus, which was a whip last time, and I probably should have been wearing it rather than. But this is, um, everyone knows the ranunculus. And I just did the longer sleeves with an eye cord bind off. You right? And um, this is knitted with Fibre Fox um, in the Eloise cutaway, singles, merino singles, and um, so brush Surrey Alpaca from Fruitful Fusion in the Fresh Water cutaway. And I think it's lovely. And I should be wearing it. I should have worn it. Maybe I'll wear it out tonight when we go out tonight. Anyway, I finally got a ranunculus because I knitted ranunculus year, right when it first came out. And it was always too, I always thought it was just too big for me. I knitted it in black as well. Short sleeves. And I gave it to a friend. And... Um, is that only the second one you've knit? Yeah. So I've I thought got... you'd knit loads of them. No, I've knitted loads of love notes. Ah. But I'd like to knit another one of these. Mm -hmm. 
you can hold the pie on. You're going to try on some hats as well. <laughs> so I've got some ends that I haven't woven in, which I'll quickly tuck away in there. I should probably put it on a blocker. But So these are my moonlight socks that I knitted for. Let's do this one, which I have so many ends in. Um, I knitted these for my September self-striping socks. And I think it looks lovely how the um, patterns move the stripes. Mm. And then I did an afterthought um, eel. Toe eel. Yeah. And they're really cute. And this yarn is from um, <laughs> I can't remember <laughs> Dragon Hill Studios. <laughs> Dragon Hill Studios and the it's called Regal colorway. And the contrast heels and toes was black current, also their yarn. Different that's got this has got gold stellina in it. It's very regal, isn't it? Yes. I love it actually. And their stripes are amazing because they're like ombre stripes. So very clever. So those were my and these were the only pair of socks I finished in September. Who likes the candle? Who, who even, even are, are you? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Right, well, that the reason is because I was on a hat kick. <laughs> Wait till you see this. Right, so first of all... How many heads have you got? <laughs> yeah, I finished, I knitted an entire... After knitting that green one for so many months, I finished a whole... My dad's muscle burrow really quickly because I couldn't put it down. All I wanted to do was knit on this. Bizarrely. Anyway, this is in the Mimosa colourway from Botanical Yarn, which was... The colourway for Unravel in February. And it's massive and my dad's got a big head. So, <laughs> Dad, this is going to be coming your way now. I've shown it on the podcast. Do you want to put it on? <laughs> it's massive. It can do, but it's huge. It's huge. Let me show you what a, what a massive muscle bro looks like. <laughs> I mean, I could wear it. It's not like it's... Yeah, it's not um, going to fall off. No. It's very nice. And then I also knitted... This one in the this is in the myeloma orange colorway. I haven't blocked it. It's going to be blocked on my head. <laughs> um, and this is the Bolton Pass hat by Espastri Co. And shall I put this one on? Go for it. It's slouchy, <laughs> but I thought it would look nice with my navy blue coat that I've got. My arses are a bit. <laughs> yeah, so that's, <laughs> this is DK. Wait. And I did actually change their decreases because they do, they like to do knit three together and it didn't look very good in this yarn. So I, I did their four um, right. corner thing and made sure that they didn't. It didn't come down in the front. So. Well planned. Yes, that's hat number three, number two. And then this one, which looks a bit weird, but does look very cute on, is the beloved Aaron hat. But I will, it'll be in the notes. And I knitted this. I've had, this must be the seventh one that I've knitted. And it's got this lovely double moss stitch texture. I don't know if you can see the... How long does that take? It takes a day, an evening, to knit that. It's knitted on five and a half millimetre needles. Mm. Okay, I've got it down here, I'm not showing you. But it is lovely. And this yarn is called... It's Cocoon by Berger de France. And it they used... Still make that? Um, I think they do. Because you could use that for a dust disco bunny. This was... Oh, yeah. It's, it's thick, though. Yeah, but it would, I think it, it's that kind of chain there. Yeah. So this is this was like two pounds a ball from my local yarn store, and I bought two balls and I used barely any of that one to so it won in a bit to knit a hat. And I was going to put a pom pom, but Joe thinks it looks better without a pom pom. I prefer it without a pom pom. So, and I think sometimes you just want. Yeah, and it's and navy blue, and nobody is having this one. I've had. A seven taken off me because people <laughs> like it so much. So, 
Yeah, should have put, okay, I'm not going to keep it on because I'm boiling hot. Hat number three. Hat number four is pretty special. In fact, I think Joe wants to model this one. <laughs> but we'll just quickly show it to you. So, the Grocery Girls, well, Jodie and Amanda Kafka of the Crafty Jackalope had a pattern kit. It was called I Need That Hat Too. So last year they had one at um, Knit City, I Need That Hat, and this then it was Need That Hat Too. And I, when they saw the colours, I had a sock set that was exactly what I needed. And it was this so this colour with navy and like this rusty ginger colour. So two minis and a... Two minis and a 50 gram skein. Mm -hmm. And um, then I went and got this pom-pom from the Wool Hound in Oxford. Oh, I haven't got that yarn to show. That's very hard to... I know, it's by Crafty Bird. The Crafty Bird. Mm -hmm. It's lovely, it's got these... Anyway, um, so I held the sparkly Cosmos, it's the gold one, which I can't remember what it's called, Gal Galactica, no, I don't know. I've got it in my bag, I can't remember, have a look, quickly. So it's gold with multicolours. Yeah, it's the Stardust, it's called, gold with multicolours, yeah. Because you can get gold with gold. Yeah, you can, I wish, I actually wanted gold with gold, but I think it looks okay. Mm. And... I actually bought silver with silver and then I didn't before I'd found the yarn again. And then when I found the yarn, I thought, oh, it's actually a warmer tone. tone so it doesn't want silver. But yeah, so I what I did was I held it double. So it's like an Aran weight, fit two strands of fingering. And then I could marl. So I marled the navy, knitted it together, navy, just navy, marled the navy and then did the same. I would say that two strands of fingering is... DK. Well, I knitted it on a five millimetre needle. But then you've also got the, the sparkle. Yes, you do. And I did the numbers, the stitch count and everything was the flax by Tinkan Knits. So I'm going to put it on. Beautiful. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Can you feel the sparkles? No, because I didn't put them in the... F in yeah, the but that bit of your hair is still touching. No, it's my hair. Oh, right. Not my... Yeah, so I didn't I didn't put the sparkles in the ribbing so that they would... Anyway, I call it my stripy bling hat. <laughs> so it's a kind of made up from the... So it's a flax with stripes and bling. The stripy bling hat. <laughs> So that's my last FO. That actually went through that pretty quick, I think. Mm. Yes. So I will we'll put everything in the description below. I shall have my FOs back. So you've got no pattern for that one, but really just the numbers from a... I can tell... I did three rows. I did six rows, then three rows, three rows, three rows, six rows. Because my gauge was... Right. I needed six... It was six rows to the inch. So... And I knew I needed nine inches. Yeah. Or whatever. So I worked it out. It worked out perfectly. And then they do their... Oh, so you did six with the Dub double, then six three. with the... Three with the navy and the one colour. Yeah, Navy, three. navy. Yeah, right. So that it... And the, you, you can't actually... I think the, the sequins obviously show up a bit better on the navy... Because you can't see, it doesn't look like the the marling isn't quite so mm. good. Well, not good, but I think I like the that's ginger. Lovely. But then that's the kind of bit you're going to see, isn't it? So I think it's lovely. Yeah. Because I knitted a... And did you have any yarn left over? I had very small amounts. I've got enough. I've got enough of the, those two to put into a sock. And then I had that much of the... Oh, that'll do a... That'll do a heel or a toe or something. Mm. Maybe I had two of those because I did hold it. No, 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 I pulled it from the centre so I didn't. I wound it into a ball at the end. Yeah, so that's what I had left. That was, and that is Giddy Aunt Yarns, and I thought I had the tag, but I haven't. So. We'll put everything in the in the description. It was a one of a kind, anyway. They didn't. She doesn't. She won't have it again. So. 
but I love the colours and I love the pom pom. So another one to go with your navy coat. Yes, my wonderful <laughs> navy coat that you found me last year. Yeah, so that's all I need. Right. So whips. No, new designs. Oh, right, new designs. Okay. Because they're kind of finished objects. I thought they, they are. Were in they are. They are finished objects. And... So I've got to show you the September socks from Botanical Yarn Sock Club, um, which obviously came out last month, September. I don't know if we showed them. Did are we? any of them still available? Can you still buy them? You can't buy the pack. Oh, no, these aren't available. The oh, maybe they are. No. Sometimes she has some Yeah. Tips. October. Check, check Botanical Yarn's website because she might have yeah, and then kits left over. The pattern will be available six, in six months from September. So these are the lavender moonflower socks, and they've I put put it on the blocker, but it's probably nicer to show you the pattern like that. This okay. I love this colorway. So this is um, I think it's like a periwinkle. Um, anyway, I think they're really cute. <laughs> And um, I would love a sweater in this colour. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so those are the September, the October sock club is is available, and that pattern will be shown next weekend, I think, when people have got their yarn. And, and then this is the um, sock I have shown them before because they came out in April. But these are now available in our Ravelry store. And these are the Sparkling Fountain socks, which um, I've taken this pattern and put it onto my onto the Sparkling Fountain sweater, which is um, was really launched at Yarndale at uh, the end of September. And Sophie's in is now in New York, um, going to Woolen Folk, and she will be selling kits there. So you can see that. It runs down this side and then there's a little in the middle bit there. And I love these ones. They're one of my favourite things I've ever designed. So yeah. subtle but beautiful, I think. Show, can you show that off the blocker? Yeah. I want to see what it would look like on your foot with. So they're left and right. Yeah, and cute. um yeah so that was so they mirror each other cute. so now i can wear them because they're out and at the moment for um obviously if you watch the podcast you get discount because i'm going to add them to the thing but there is a 25 percent off code which is spark 25 um to get 25 percent off until the end of sunday so hopefully this will be uploaded by then. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's my new designs. There's lots going on though, so be be prepared for future <laughs> <laughs> future designs, things we can't talk about. Okay, yeah, whips. Who's next? Okay, so you told me you always go first, so you're going first. No, I'm always first on the list. Oh. I thought don't that, always go first. I thought that meant you were first on the yeah. So I um, was gifted some yarn from Beautiful Knitters in London, the lovely Karen. And this is their own yarn brand. Um, it's a sport weight and it's called Victoria. And this colourway is pine. pine. And um colour is pine. Yeah, she Beautiful. gifted me. Seven Doesn't look meters. like sport weight. Yeah. How many meters? 165 metres. So oh, yeah. 50 grams. And it's merino camel. 80% oh, yeah. merino, 20% camel. camel. And it's so soft. It's beautiful. Um and she gift she gifted me seven balls of it to knit. I was gonna design I was gonna design a shawl. Yeah. And um I had a few false starts where I didn't actually pick the right needle size oh. and it didn't look right. And then I came up with this idea 
and it's perfect for the, for this yarn. So this is going to be a large crescent shawl. It's going to be all seven balls, so 350 grams of yarn. And it's knit from point to point, and it's this garter rib with an eye cord edge and this lace pattern that looks like it's an applied border, mm -hmm. but you knit it, you knit it as you go. So is that that's yeah. not an applied border, is it? Um, no. Anyway, so it that you slightly change the rate of increasing so that you get a crescent shape. So she's on the decreasing now. And I'm on the decreases. <laughs> it's quite large. Um, but it's it's quite a nice, I think it's a nice soothing. I love this knit. texture. Because you, um, you knit a little bit of interest on either end. And then you get this three by three garter rib, which uh, is so squishy. Mm. It's going to be lovely to wear. Um, I've got two little stitches. Um, stitch markers progress keepers so this progress keeper is from Katrinkles and I bought it on as part of a set on holiday a little acorn. glittery acorn um, and that one tells me where what increase where my increase rate has changed right. and then this one tells me what, where my repeat of the pattern right. has changed and this isn't actually a I put this onto a um, a, a light bulb marker, but it's a little set of bunnies the with necklace. a necklace that Rachel gave me. And I don't wear it as a necklace, but I thought I could make it into a progress keeper oh. and I could use it. Um, yeah, so it's these two little bunnies looking at the moon. <laughs> <laughs> They're gold. Yeah. That was and expensive. Yeah, that it's it was. a very expensive progress keeper. Yeah. But I now use it all the time rather than, mm. you know, wearing no, it that's very good. as a necklace. So, and I love this colour. Yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? I'm, I can't think, I haven't, I haven't come up with a name yet. You need to go and show her when you're in London next mm. week. But I think I'm going to, um, I want one in cream as well. Because you do the eye cord over that bit. You could. Or is it not possible? You could. You could cast on with an eye cord. I just, I think that's, um, because you finish it. I quite like it without. But... Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> anyway, so I'm, I'm right? over halfway. Hooray! That's the, that's the middle point there. Um, Very good. Yeah just working through the decreases and I'm keeping it so that's in, a new design really it's a new sign whip um I'm keeping it in my river knits gorgeous that bag. gorgeous bag um that I bought at their um open day, open day. Yeah. um and it just happens to go with my ring <laughs> <laughs> very much into this petrol blue Lovely. gorgeousness um yeah and this is um woven with some hand spun yarn and it's just so lovely it's, it's lovely. like a I one of a kind isn't it like a, a quite a considered purchase but it's beautiful um yeah so that's whip, for number, whip one. number one and then whip number two is what i what i took on the pay plume um because I needed something. You know, I haven't got any other whips. No. A sock? Oh, yeah. I've got a vanilla sock oh, right, okay. and an Anthony sock that I've had no love. Okay. Um, and this is, so I I took this on the aeroplane so that I could take a needle that I didn't mind having mm. taken off me if they decided to take one off me. I've never had a problem yeah. on an aeroplane. This is Spy Sprig. Sprig. Sprig knitwear and I it's not meant to be a project bag but it's um it's knitted and it's just very cute perfect for a and one, it's now full of mohair one skein yeah it's now full of mohair um, we'll link below that below we both got one of those haven't we oh is that mine I don't think so I used it for the three needle bind off oh right um 
Right, so I was going to knit a Morton Street cowl with this lovely Isaiah mohair. mohair. It's silk mohair, 75% mohair, 25% silk, and it's in the colour 7S. And it's very fluffy. It's very fluffy. It's got a, a dark core and then this kind of hold camel. It a bit closer? Yeah, camel. But when you knit with it, you actually don't see so much of the dark. Oh, maybe you do. But it's very, very fluffy. Anyway, when I was, see the... I couldn't see the pattern. <laughs> oh, fluff up again. And you were on an aeroplane as well. Yeah. So that's quite... So I decided I would... Do... It's it's still a... Obviously, this, this standard cowl shape now that I've, yeah. uh, that I've been knitting. and But it's in a broken rib. Which just gives it a lovely texture. Yeah. And then instead of doing make ones, I've done yarn overs. Um, give, it a little, give it a little eyelet at the centre and at the back now. Mm. And I'm trying to decide whether I want to do something fancy on the edge before yeah. I do the border or whether I just want to carry on with broken rib mm. and just do... Fancy as in like a lace, Yeah. Isn't it? Well, I've had an idea. That would be good though because the lace does show... The eyelids do show yeah. nicely, so so I'm trying to decide. I've got an idea for to do like a an arrow head going but two ways. Mm -hmm. So it's in time out while you think about it. Yeah, well, it went into time out yesterday when I was going to London and I didn't want to knit on with mohair, but I was wearing a black blazer because you know I did want to I did want to come across as a little bit professional when I got to uh, <laughs> not covered in mohair. when I got to the office not covered in mohair. So, but it's so soft. That is lovely. Their mohair is pretty. Yeah. Isaiah mohair is one of the nicest ones yeah. I've seen. Isn't it? So, um, I'm not sure whether I'm going to write it up as a design because I've got so many of them yeah. now and people get a bit, will be getting a bit bored. No, they won't though. I think you need to do the, decide what you're going to do and then decide because yeah. if you put a lace pattern on it or a. Then it. Yeah would be a design mm. so yeah so that's and people my... seem to love your cat be loving your cowls so yeah that's my other whip cool so i'm desperate to cast on a sweater when i get home that's the first thing i'm doing <laughs> oh i've got lots of sweaters on the go but so what am i talking about first october socks you can... whichever one you want so i'm knitting obviously a pair of self-striping socks for october because I've, I've knitted a pair every month. And these are very special. I've been waiting to duck cast this yarn on. It's lovely. And this is Stripey Cat yarn in the colourway Blame It on the Weatherman. <laughs> and it's all these lovely autumnal tones. And when you knit it up, this is what it looks like. Oh, and then I put what I've done is use the front panel from the moonlight socks just to give me something to think about while I'm doing it rather than knitting round round. And it moves the stitches that lovely way that it did on the purple socks. So I love it. And I'm just pa I put in my markers for where I want to put my heel in. So I'm, I'm just that's the, basically done the leg of the first one, so I better get a shift on. <laughs> I've got so much other knitting to do. And that is living in my Santi bag. What is it? From Hohe and Co. I never knew what that, one was, what that one was called. And I love it. This is my sock, whatever that vanilla sock mm. is in there. It's kind of vanilla sock. Um, and then my next whip. I don't talk about things very long, do you? Anyway. <laughs> so I have made a bit of progress on my marble mount sweater. Um, so I've got these markers in where she tells you to put markers, but you're supposed to move them. But I find it easy just to count. So that's what <laughs> I'm doing. And I've just it's got it's lovely. It's a bit weird to show you on this needle. <laughs> So it's got short rows in the back. So 
that is the front, I think. Where's my marker? My main marker. That's the front. And it, you do this, you knit like a quite a roll, uh, it's like a roll neck. It's like 80, 18 rows. Oh, right. So there's no... There's no... That's it now. That's mm -hmm. the neck. But there's... It's quite hard to show in this dark yarn. There's these... I hold it maybe like that. Can you see the lace? I thought I could see it there. Ah, there. Maybe that way. That's the back of it. But you, you start doing these lace um, panels and you're increasing down the in between in a way that I've never done before, but it's very ingenious and has given me an idea or something. <laughs> so, yeah, so I've got quite a long way to go. I've got about another 10 repeats on the yoke and then it'll be knit, knit, knit. But I'm loving this yarn. This is Rowan Valley Tweed. And I can't remember what, I think the colorway, have I got a label? Does it even tell me what the colourway is? High Force is the colourway. That's my first ball. That one. That's it in the cake. You can see the little flecks of the yeah, it's yeah. lovely. Yeah, so I do a little bit of that every now and again. But not this week because I'm knitting and advent knitting and sock knitting for a deadline so and that is living in my sticky st sticky stitchy <laughs> stitchy platypus bag <laughs> that came all the way from america and it's oh, a sticky platypus <laughs> no we don't want a sticky platypus. We don't want sticky platypus we'll have a stitchy one <laughs> yeah but it's beautiful isn't it mm. yeah so that is that one and then I've got another hat on the needles, of course. And this is the Tide Knots hat by Justina Lukowski. We'll put it in the notes. And it's a cable hat with lovely cables on. And oh, they are pretty. I'm about... I think I've just finished the first repeat and I've got to do it again and a few more rows and then the decreases. And this is in lovely yarn, row and yarn again. This is Moordale. And I don't know what the colour is on here. Bronzed. Shade 6 in colourway bronzed. And it's so soft. It's DK. And... Yeah, I just do a bit of that. If I fancy doing a bit of cables for an evening, I do a bit on that. Is one ball going to be enough? Yes, plenty. Look, that's about halfway. I'm just thinking. I love the pattern. I'm just thinking whether I've got a ball of DK. I can give you a ball of DK. <laughs> Something. Yeah. So that is taking a bit more time than the other ones, but I'm enjoying it very much, and it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And I've got one more cake of your aunt to knit a hat with ready to go. And this is Croft from West Yorkshire Spinners. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I am going to knit another hat because they... The thing I like about hats is it's like there's only one of them. So you haven't got to knit a second <laughs> one. You haven't got to knit a second one. And they just... If they're DK or that's Aaron, wait, it's going to fly off the needles. Mm. Well, it's you, like this, isn't it? And yeah, and you've got an FO and you feel like you've finished something. When you've got things that going on that take so long. I mean, it's nice sometimes to have a really complicated sweater or whatever. Yeah. But then... So I'm never going to finish that sweater in time for the Hohe. I'm doing it for the Hohe mm. Fall Knit Along, but it's never going to be finished by the end of next month. Unless I finish other things. Yeah. And get those on the needles. But I have cast Ooh, on. completely <laughs> slipped off. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Until we just abandon it. Yeah. yeah. So I have cast on another sweater though. <laughs> a bit more instant graphic gratification. And this is living in my lovely Harris tweed bag by from Velika Yarns. And I've cast on a Felix because there's a Felix along knit along going on oh, with yeah. wool needles hands. I forgot about that. 
And I'm knitting it. I started to yawn. I'm really sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up. Um, I had a nap just before we did this. <laughs> so I'm knitting it in drops, brushed alpaca, silk, and it's I think it's the colourway blue blue or steel. Something like that. Anyway, it's this lovely blue colour. Doesn't look like steel. No. And so far I've done this much. So you can see the lovely feelet, the way she does the increases on the raglan is this lovely eyelet pattern. And it's going to be so light and lovely. But my needles are coming. I should put them bit better. Anyway, so that's just something I'm working on as well when I feel like it. When I feel like there's a bit something else to do. And these lovely markers are were given gifted to me by Sophie from Botanical Yarn. And they are a new company called Glass uh, Green and Glass. And that, that's like the, my beginning of round different one and then, then there's these little Oh they're lovely. Yeah. And she's on Instagram and I've um, shared my stitch markers and stuff so you can go and look at that or put them in the we'll link them in the mm -hmm. soon as it yeah so that's I think it's going to look lovely on moi <laughs> <laughs> so that's that will be I think not too and not too um what's the word I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you're trying to say. I'm trying to say it's going to be quick off my needles. Ardu not too arduous. Yeah, it's not going to be a long term whip. That's going to be a quick yeah. one. Because I've also got a, just a quantity of pink that I'd like to knit oh, another one. Scary, everybody. I'd like to knit oh. another one or maybe a stripy version. Mm. But that is it for my whips. Yay! And oh no, it's not. Hat. Got one more hat. One more. <laughs> so my father-in-law wants a muscle for a hat. So I've just cast on the other night, and I just I've got like one more increase to do, and then it's knit, knit, knit. And he's having it in this red drops flora because he supports Man, Man United. So he wanted a red hat, and he's got a big head like my dad. So it's going to be the same size as dad's. Um, but I'm loving it actually, and this drops flora is beautiful to knit with. It's um, oh, and it blocks alpaca, blue, yeah. It's, it's alpaca and wool, and it is lovely. Mm. So go and buy some in the drop sale. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one pound forty. I know. I think we need to get some minute. more. I think we do need to get some more because I think I need a muscle bra. I haven't actually got one. No, because you gave me yours. Yeah, it was too small. It was a bit too small, and that is living in Jill's bag. Lovely little bag from my from her local coffee shop. I sell craft things. <laughs> cool. Right. So acquisitions. Right, I think no. you're going to talk first. If um, yeah. if you're not if interested, you're not interested in... lovely to have shared some time with you. Um, I'm going to be talking about my trip to around point. New England and. Um, sharing with you things that I bought while I was there. And I've got some things she bought me as well, so we can... Mm. So, we had 12 days in New England, started in Boston, went down to Providence in Rhode Island, and then over to Hartford in Connecticut. And there was nothing yarny about any of that, but we had a brilliant time. Um... You went to Mark Twain's house. Didn't yes, you? and uh, went. To, we looked. At, went to have a look at Brown University in Rhode Island, and yeah, it was lovely. The weather was fabulous. Um, the trees and everything were just amazing. So then we drove from Hartford I've got another in whip. Connecticut <laughs> up to um, to to have that bit whipped next next time. Okay. Um, Hartford in Connecticut up to Stowe in Vermont and on the way we stopped at Webb's which is America's yarn store. <laughs> now we got there before it opened 
We were that keen. What My husband was not that keen. What time does it what time does it open? <laughs> it opens at ten. And we got there before ten. And then we went and had breakfast in a lovely little cafe. And um Chris went and sat in the car. <laughs> you had an hour, didn't I you? I had an hour to look round webs. Now I have to say there were some beautiful things in there, mm -hmm. but I was a little bit overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. And I didn't go with a plan. Right. I have several sweat sweater quantities of yarn already. I knew I didn't have a lot of space. Yeah. So I didn't really want to be buying sweaters quantities of yarn. So I didn't. And what I ended up buying, sorry, there's going to be some rustling, was a few um, different things that I hadn't seen before. So... I hold so it to hold it. Do you want me to hold it? Yeah. So there's two. I bought two of this type of yarn, Trendsetter Yarns Dune, and I thought it was quite. So one's a very neutral palette, yeah, and one's bright, and I thought that they would add a little bit of interest to if I wanted to knit a really simple shawl, just like a garter yeah. stitch shawl, and put an edge on. Four it, stitches to the inch, is it? That it would be very, um, yeah, lovely. Just, a, just a nice little, you know, not sequins, just a little bit of sparkle and yeah. a little bit of. That one looks quite Christmassy to me. Yeah, not sure what I'm gonna, not not hundred percent sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I really like it. And then I found this mohair, which is Barocco Tiramisu. Is it mohair and other stuff? Um, it's wool, acrylic, mohair and silk. Is it four? Is it two? Uh, four and a half to five millimetre mm. needles. But obviously you can knit it. Yeah, because it's uh, for lace really. Yeah. Isn't it? Well, it's very fine bits. Are they two sets? I didn't really look at it that closely. No, it's, um, um, it's like thick and thin a bit. And then underneath, it, I saw underneath that there's some blue, beautiful blue. Yeah, very nice. So, um, so yeah, that's just going to be um, added in with something maybe to knit a hat or, Lovely. Um, you know. Then there was this I came across, which is <laughs> <laughs> Malabrigo sock. And it's this is it's metamorphosis sock, and it's in the colourway Amelie three two six, and it's already caked up, and it's already caked up, and it goes from dark to light back to dark, and I bought two, and I'm going to knit a shawl, mm -hmm. and it's going to go dark light dark light dark, very nice, and I just love the colours, yeah. Plums and... And they were from Webs as well. They were from Webs. Shall I show my stuff from Webs? And then I got one last thing. Bought two balls of this. They're, this of Valley Yarns is their own yarn. Yeah. And this is Baby Alpaca Merino and Nylon. And... You could knit yourself a tied knot sack. Oh, yeah. That's a good idea. Um, I've got two balls of... Yes. Two, two 50 gram balls of that. I just loved that colour and it was because I was in the middle of autumn in New England. Yes. <laughs> it just felt really appropriate. It's and that is colourway very... sunset. Got two of those. And then she bought me two things from Webs. I did. Joe bought me this lovely skein of Valley Yarns Charmont, which is Fine, six percent fine superwash merino, twenty percent mulberry silk, and twenty percent polyamide, and it's in the colourway dark olive. And this might be my Musselboro hat. It's gorge. It's gorge. It's very very soft, and it's got a lovely sheen to it, which will help the slouch because I don't want I don't want to. I just want the slouchy hat. And she also bought me a skein of a ball of Noro. Silk Garden Sock Yarn, which is a sport, well, it's 300 metres for 100 grams. And 
I've never knitted socks other than what fingering, so it's going to be... Are you going to knit socks with it? I don't know, actually. I might knit a cowl with it. Hmm. I might knit a um, Cleft of a Wave bandana. Oh, that would be lovely. Would that be enough? Yeah. 300 metres? Yeah, you just make yeah. it as long as one. Oh, yeah, because all the colours are going to... Mm, that would be lovely. Yeah, that's a good idea. So from Webbs, we drove up to a place called Tunbridge in Vermont, which is where the Vermont Sheep and Wool Festival was. And I've got a few little videos of some of the sheep and put at the, the end. alpaca that we can put at the end. Um, we had some delicious um, food. So there was one stand that did chilli with cornbread. Did Chris come in with you? Chris came in with me, yeah. Chili with cornbread. I think he actually paid because they didn't. They only took cash, right? <laughs> and he had the dollars and I didn't. So anyway, it's only eight dollars to get in. Um, and um, we got there by about two o'clock, half past one, and the weather was gorgeous. It was just. It was a lo really lovely day. Um, and we had a bit of a wander around. We looked in. There's. A, there was an animal barn, with some vendors in i was specifically looking for two vendors i was looking for woolen woolens and nosh yeah. and um the lady who, who the pottery lady who makes the bunny mugs <laughs> <laughs> that's what i was looking for so um did, we you, buy, in, other, did you buy yarn from other people i bought one other lot of yarn right um right so compared to other yarn shows that i've yeah. been to it was much well, obviously it was also it was a sheep and wool yeah. festival so there was a lot more animals right um than i've seen at other shows i mean we've been to a few where they've had some sheep but um it wasn't a sheep and wool show it wasn't a sheep and wool that wasn't a sheep and wool show so there was a, a barn with animals in with a few vendors and then there were some vendors outside and there were two other barns with vendors in so it was quite reasonably big mm. but a lot of the vendors were um small people who had their own flock mm. who'd made their own yarn from it and then they'd knit some things so there was quite a lot of pre-knit oh, items nice. um which were all not they weren't really mine right they were a bit rusticky yeah um and chunky and i don't do a lot of chunky stuff. chunky stuff Anyway, Rachel had asked me to find Woolens and Nosh, mm -hmm. so that's the first place I went, and I found this yarn. This is new for Yeah, I bought this yarn. It's called Sprout, and I think the mini was called Potting Shed, something like that. Um, and it was it's these kind of muted. It's self striping. Self striping it? yarn muted with a um the beigey name. And what's your um Oh it's the same. It's Tahi nylon. And, nylon. and um it's really soft. Yeah. And we were, I was having a chat with the lady and I said, Oh my sit with I can't remember I don't know her name. Yeah, I can't off. remember her name either. Um, we'll, put, uh, we'll, we'll link everything below. But. Yeah, so I was having a chat with her and I was saying, my sister has asked me to come and pick her a colourway. Do you have a show, a colourway for the show? And she said, I don't really, but this is my new colourway. So that's what I've got. Beautiful. And it's called Season's Greetings. And um, it's got navy blue in. And pink. So we couldn't go really go wrong. <laughs> it's going to be... I think it may might be my December socks, mm. even though I've already got yarn for December. Yeah. I like to knit two pairs. So that was a... And I've been wanting some of her yarn. Yeah. I don't know whether to knit it straight away. Or... That was a win. The, it's so soft, isn't it? Mm. I've it's never knitted lovely. with I've never knitted with Tahi before. Mm. That's quite exciting. It feels a bit thicker than yeah, the feels... yarn. But I'm sure it'll be we'll fine. We'll see how it's... we get on. 411 yards to 100 grams, mm. so it's a bit small, a bit less than fingering, but as in, that's yeah, that's standard. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, so that's what we got. I got from Woolens and Nosh, 
And then I um, found the, the monk lady, <laughs> the bunny lady. And I went up, I, went, I was looking around and I couldn't see what I wanted. Some, but somebody had, a lady had this in her hand. And it turned out it was Selma from L Little Big Knits podcast. Anyway, she put it down. <laughs> <laughs> and you grabbed and it. And I, no, I said, do you mind if I buy that? Because it's exactly what I've been, I've come for. All the way from the UK. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so I ended up buying it. And I can't decide whether it's a sheep. I think it's a rabbit. It's got to, it's it's definitely definitely too a rabbit. big, aren't they? It's definitely a yeah. rabbit. But it's beautiful. And um, and then we weren't 100% sure I could buy it because her card machine wasn't working. Oh. So no, she was doing a oh the old-fashioned really? way. And she didn't know whether, old it, whether it would go through. And she said... She didn't want to text my or me, phone me on my international mobile phone number. Right. So I was like, oh. and anyway, it turned out there's an ATM in right. the place. So I went and got some cash and paid cash for it. Cool. Um, but I never haven't used it yet. Oh, look at it. Yeah, it's definitely a yeah, rabbit. Right. It's a smudge on the end of his nose. But it's definitely a rabbit. So. Um, Should you use it? Yeah. No, I am going to use it. But I absolutely love it. Anyway. Um, yeah, so then by this point, Chris was getting a little bit, you know, yeah. so we then got some food and we had the lovely cornbread and chilli and yeah, beef stew, beef stew with a cornbread mm -hmm. and did we have a cake? Probably, can't remember, <laughs> but we got chatting to a lady in the queue and I was wearing my Morton Street Yeah, and it sparked quite a lot of conversation. It was over there a minute ago. But yeah. Um, so anyway, we got chatting and she has given up her, her office job and is opening an inn in Vermont. And I was like, wow. Oh, that's amazing. So she was waiting for the sale to go through. She had two weeks to wait. And um, yeah, and so we've become friends on Ravelry. Oh, very nice. So um, yeah, I was chatting to her and then um, we had another look around and I found this little little nugget that I had to come home with me <laughs> it's so soft it's alpaca and it's um fingering weight 200 yards Aww. and so it'll just become a little bit of actually there might be enough to knit one of these yeah so it's so soft um and then um we got a maple creamy on the way out which was what is it it's whippy ice cream yeah. with maple syrup in it oh my god and it was massive really literally it's in a i got mine in a cup because i didn't think it was manageable in a cone right did you see Some other people, people yeah i saw other people with it <laughs> and i was kind of like i just want this away from i don't want i so, say anyway it was one price right how much was it i think it's four dollars yeah. Literally, it was that high. In the cup? In the cup. How did you eat it? <laughs> Just from the spoon, from the top. Oh, did Chris have one? Chris ate half of it. <laughs> I couldn't eat it all. He didn't really like it. He didn't really yeah. like ice cream. No. But he he wouldn't let it, he wouldn't let it go away. <laughs> <laughs> so he had, he had half and I had half. Cool. Um, but yeah, it was... Um, the guy... Oh, I'm so kind of, jealous. <laughs> the guy was... I don't know, he... I don't think he really understood my English because <laughs> I was just I was I said I can't remember what I said to him, but he was like, um, I said I I couldn't believe that they could make it not fall over. Yeah, and he was like, "Do you want me to go even higher?" No, <laughs> <laughs> I don't want any more. I don't want any more than that. Anyway, so we had a really fun day, and then we drove on from there to Stowe, which was like mm. another hour. Went to our um, inn. Um, we stayed in Stowe for a couple. We of stayed in Stowe for three days. Went to went up the mountain. So, so Stowe is a ski resort in the winter, and they have a big mountain with a gondola, 
went up the gondola and the gondola up the, the top of the mountain mm -hmm. and had a waffle. <laughs> um, and then um, we went to the Von Trapp Brewery for lunch on the way back down. Yeah, um, yeah we had a few days in Stowe and then we drove over to New Hampshire to Alton Bay which is where our, my friend owns a lodge on the on Lake mm. Winnesopeka, something like that. Um, and we had a few days there driving through um, the White Mountains. We, we hiked one of the mountains, mm -hmm. Mount Major, and then we drove through the White Mountains to look at the leaves changing. Oh. Uh, and then we drove to Maine and uh, stayed in Portland. And in Portland, there is a yarn store called Nitwit, and you went a bit mad in there. I went a bit mad in Nitwit. Oh no! On the way, I found this yarn. So on the way to Maine, <laughs> <laughs> we stopped in. Was it in the way on the way to Maine? It could have been in one of our trip day trips in. Right. No, it can't have been a day trip in Vermont. So it's in New Hampshire. It must be on the way to Maine. You said you bought. I think you bought it in Vermont, but it's dyed in New Hampshire. I think I vaguely remember you telling me. No, I bought no. it in New Hampshire. It doesn't matter. St Johnsbury. Mm. And it's by Miss Tory Yarns. It's Polworth. 100% superwash Polworth. And the colourway is Touch of Spring. And I, it's the first one I saw and I just loved it. It's got these little specks of colour mm. and like a wash of this beige. Beautiful. And... I got chatting to the lady who owns the shop. It's the the yarn bank. I wanted to say yarn barn, but it's the yarn bank, and in St Johnsbury and uh, a few other places we've been. The yarn shops were closed. Yeah, and I was like, I found a yarn shop that's open. <laughs> <laughs> Just like stumbled across I a yarn to shop go that's open. And I got chatting to the lady and she she was like, oh, I, I was wearing my um, Morton Street again. And she's yeah. like, oh, I love your carol. Um, and oh, me. she you said see. that I was, te I told her about the pattern, that she could get the pattern mm. in Ravelry and we were twin set and pearl and we had a podcast. And she said, oh, the lady who dyed your yarn loves podcasts. I'm going to tell her about your podcast and, um, and about the carol. And... I then got a message on Ravelry from her, from Tori, um, and she said, coincidence, I already had your cowl pattern. I'd already stumbled across your podcast. <laughs> and, my, when my friend, and my friend was telling me all about it. And I was like, I already know about it. <laughs> um, so is it going to be another cowl? And her friend had told her that I bought this skein of yarn. And she said, I hope it's one of her favourite colourways and her favourite bases. So I said, if I design something with it, obviously I'll share it with oh, her. Um, but yeah, let's leave that. It's a small world. A small world. Then I went to Knitwit. Right. And <laughs> um, I wanted to buy yarn that I can't get here because they had a lot of European yarn. They had a lot of Regia Yak. Right. For twenty eight dollars. Oh my goodness! I did not buy any of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's eleven pound fifty. Here. So the first thing that I saw that I really liked was this yarn, and this is American yarn dyed in Boston. Superwash merino. Um, persimmon. Persimmon is the colourway, and. Um, I've got an idea for a cowl <laughs> with this thing. Another well. bloody cowl. Another bloody cowl. Um, well, it's only it's a single skein, so it could be a muscle hat or some kind of hat. It would be beautiful, a hohe lone skein shawl Ooh. with that little lace. It'd be beautiful. Maybe I'll do that then. I won't design anything new with it because I love the colour. And it's nice little yeah yeah so that's um that was the first skein of yarn i bought and then i saw this which is quince and co and it's quince and co piper which is 50 percent 
Super Kid Marino and 50 Percent Fight. Kid, um, Kid Silk Mohair and, and Marino. Mm -hmm. And this colorway is Abilene. And I also got the same yarn in Cold Spring. And I love those colours. They're not going to be together though, are they? No. They're going to be <laughs> two, two separate yeah. things. And is it fingering? It's lace. Like heavy lace. Heavy lace. So I'm not sure what I'm going to make yet. Basically. It probably will be cowls. Be warned. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have to mean that it's going to be a pattern. No. Or it could be one that a pattern that's already been yeah lovely made. But I love those. You probably get most of your cows out of one of them now. Yeah, and then the last thing that I bought was this yarn. You didn't buy me any yarn, did you? There. I didn't buy you any yarn. There, you bought no. me this. Yeah. Um, Wonderland yarns, pigments of imagination, Mary Anne, Mary Anne, sock fingering weight. 475 yards for four ounces mm. and I just love the colours. And it's, it's, it's 85 15 so it's very soft, 85% merino. Mm. And I'm going to, I'm going to put this with some cream, a skein of undyed yarn I think mm -hmm. and um, we've got that really lovely undyed. Yeah. And, knit a sh and have that have a plain shawl mm -hmm. up here and then this is a, a border border oh, very nice and then she yeah. bought me this bag from the knitwits it's a heavy really heavy yeah canvas. And it's a coat it's really big really it's nice. stand up i think yeah and it's i can put lots of whips together in there yeah, thank you Jerry, for my prezies <laughs> I yeah. also got some candy corn. <laughs> so I've got some acquisitions. Have you got other? That is what you ordered while I was away. Yeah. So I purchased the bag for this year's treasure chest. Um, breast cancer care. So last year I designed the sock for them. It's open hands, open hearts sock. And that... If you buy that pattern, the money still goes to them forever. But I, Sorry, this year, decided to buy Mrs. Moog designed this booby bag. And I think it's amazing. Sequins and all, and then that on the back. And it came with these two little progress keepers. One's boobs. And one is the, like a, the ribbon, I hope. For breast cancer so that money how much they, was that i think it was 25 pounds and 15 pounds goes to um, treasure chest and inside is a secret project that i can't tell it about yet <laughs> but that i bought that and i also purchased sophie got me this at yarndale which is the tristan the west yorkshire spinners colorway for yarndale and it's called tristan this year they're, that's nice yeah i'm looking forward to knitting those and i also bought um the stuff we'll talk about the stuff we bought together mm -hmm. but i also bought bought so i was gonna i didn't show them but i bought this year's um you showed that when we met, when we did our acquisitions from didn't you buy it at oxford yarn store we definitely showed you. Definitely okay, showed it. so I've started knitting them for my dad, and I wanted to put the contrast heel and toe, so I bought the amber colourway, which I think I don't actually think matches. But it'll, it looks quite, it'll, it'll look fine with his socks. So I bought that, and you know, when you buy from Wool Warehouse, if you spend £25, you get free shipping, so I had to up the ante, and I put bought. Oh, I've got two of them. <laughs> I don't know which one. I can't remember which one I bought this time. So these are those um, unique sock by Earth Yarns. It's 
a bit weird. They put that's the right way up, but they put the picture that way. So that's what the sock would look like. And you get two balls exactly the same. And then this one, that's on the sock. That's the colourway. And that colourway, that's number 62. Did you buy one at I bought this one when I bought the amber and I bought this one. Oh when right, I bought... and you bought one at Unravel as well. No, I did I did as well. But I also bought two balls of drops kid silk in the powder colourway and bought one of those. <laughs> oh, you were away and I was feeling a bit <laughs> down. <laughs> So I did so I did that and these and now I realised that one is enough to knit. I was gonna knit a another bonjour high hat and I'd ordered two but one's enough so I might make something else because I've got two. Can you knit me a bonjour high hat? I could knit you a bonjour high hat. We could have matching ones. Mm. Then we'd look ridiculous. <laughs> but go with yes, my new But these I can't wait to cast on some of these and I'm next year I'm not gonna do just to quickly finish, that's colour 59. That's colour 62. Um, I'm, next year, I'm not doing self-striping every month. I'm going to do a different Bird Street yarn, vanilla sock, every month to use up some of my beautiful Bird Street yarn. So, yeah. So those are the... That's... So the acquisition I bought separately and then the acquisition I bought together. So Joe got the, the same blue as me. Why did I buy four balls? I don't know what you're going to do with it. I think I was going to put it together with some Bird Street yarn. Right. To knit Christmas gifts. Ah, perfect. That's what you were going to do then. Mm, yes, a secret new design. So yes, yeah. with like denim, their denim. I've got some long meadow. Ah yes, very nice. We both got a. We both got a skein. Oh, where's husband going? I don't know. Of course, that way. Um, sequins on thread. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Party and it's by Hobby. Is it Mine's by Hobby? Hunting Green. It's not Hobby. It's from Lindy Hobby, I think. I got them from the end. Mine's called Find Colourway Brown. But it goes with, <laughs> I got it to go with this brown skein yarn. of, yeah, <laughs> skein of brown <laughs> sandbank, which is Malabrigo sock. So that's going to be something. And I got, but it only has, this has three skeins of 250 metres. So you couldn't knit it held together for the whole, it's not long enough. So you have to do something. Mm. I can't remember why I got green. I think you had some olive, something else you wanted to go with. You like olive. I do like olive. Um, and then I got three balls of kid silk. Mohair. Drop skill kid silk mohair, which are going with the zebra yarn that I bought. The undyed, the, the undyed, yeah. Um, for your ease. for my easy V, which is the thing that I'm going to cast yeah, on. Yeah, I think should. They're beautiful colours. Do you know what the colours are? Is that cherry something? Sorbet, yeah. Can't remember. Yeah. So they're number 37, 46 and 45. We will, it'll all be in the description box below. So nice. It is lovely. Is that the last of your acquisition? That's the last of the acquisition. I think yeah. I've had more stuff, but I have no idea where it is. Oh no, I bought, bought this project bag. <laughs> and the magazine. Oh yeah. yeah. So I bought this project bag. I bought this bag. It's not a project bag. Meant not meant to be a project bag. Meant to be like a makeup bag or something. But this lady, Erin Flett, she's based in Maine, and she screen prints all her fabric. And I just loved it. And I thought it's um, perfect for a project bag. But also, you know, yeah. makeup bag or, or stuff in your. Um, 
handbag. Yes. It's a really pretty nice. nice memory. It's almost to be memory. like a like a clutch. Yeah, for a hot for summer day. Yeah. And then the last thing we got was the new liner magazine. Um which we're gonna share next. Yeah. And there's a, there's lots of things in here that I love. Um just quickly to find it. Um God. Sorry, I just saw I went to <laughs> <laughs> Bear with <laughs> <laughs> I like this one. Oh, you're you not can't showing. Really see that picture very well. What's There's a called? short sleeve, so I won't be knitting that for a while. No, what's it called? It's called Advent. Adventius. I wonder if you could make the sleeves longer. I think you could. Yeah. Anyway. Um, there's lots of lovely things in here this time. Sometimes, there's been a few issues where I've yeah. not really wanted to knit many of the things. I'll find you the thing that I want to knit. This is by... Well, you went past it then. Florence. Florence Burley. You can't, it's not easy to see. I don't quite understand the design. I like the, I like the tassels. Yeah, because yeah. all the designs are actually there. Yeah. Oh, and she wears it in the front, you can see. Yeah. And it's got, and there's also a hat pattern to match. Oh, cool. <laughs> Just in case you need a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case you need a, a tenth hat. One of your many heads. <laughs> <laughs> So that's the new liner, and we didn't get the um, limited edition cover one, but it's black and white. But I like this one. Yeah, no, so I like that one. I yeah. love that sweater as well. Yeah. On the front. Whether it will ever get knit. I know. Dear me. Too much to knit and not enough time. Mm. And then it's, we've been talking for an hour and 20 minutes. So we And I did have... very little knitting on holiday, really, because I was driving all the time. Mm. I was, yeah. Anyway. But you had a lovely time. I had a great, brilliant time. And you're back now. So I don't need to buy yarn. Yeah, no excuses. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, hope you've stuck with us this long and enjoyed watching. And, um, yeah, just... The next time we catch up, we've got our COVID jabs next weekend, both of us. Um... So we're not meeting up. We're not meeting up. And then... So the next time we have it, we're going to Sophie's... Open studio. studio at Botanical Yarn again, which we enjoyed so much last year, last time, in the summer. So that's the 5th of November. So we'll be there. If you fancy going and visiting the Botanical Yarn near York, visit Botanical Yarn and see us. And um, hopefully that might be the next time we podcast. Yeah. Yeah, so... We'll have uh, small winners. Yep. And hopefully, we, won't, we, won't, we probably won't even show the prize then because we're going away. We won't want to take it with us. So, but we will. What I'll do is take a photo and probably and put it on the in the thread. That's a good idea, isn't it? Yeah. And then, um, yeah, I'm rambling now and I'm really sorry. I'm tired. <laughs> and I've got... Right. Thank you, everybody. Yes. Yeah, like and subscribe <laughs> if you liked us. <laughs> And, and uh, we'll uh, see, see you soon. soon. Bye. Bye.